Hey everyone, Sarah Sedrasil here. I'm a footballer for Turbine Potsdam and the Austrian national team. And I decided to do a little workout outside. Oh, I'm wearing some old gear from when I used to be in Portland. Because <laughs> obviously I'm at home and I didn't bring a lot of stuff, so I have to wear some old stuff. Um, yeah, I decided to do a little bit of ball work today um, to get some touches in and some coordination, which I do not have a, a ladder to do some like footwork. So all you need is basically some chalk. I have chalk, I have a street. So I'm gonna draw my own coordination ladder and then do some drills. So let's do this. Such an artist. Ta-da! There's my ladder and all you need is a street and some chalk. Um, I drew 10 fields and now I'm gonna do a few um, warm-up drills, a few coordination steps. So yeah, let's do this. First exercise, one touch each, then I do two touch each, three touch and then some variation. Let's go. Next up, some jumps, so two leg jumps, one leg jumps. The next exercise is two touch in, one touch outside. So you move from side to side, but always two in, one out. In, in, out, in, in, out. And that's how you go through the ladder. You can do the same backwards. The next one is the opposite, so you go one step inside and two outside. One in, two out. One in, two out. One in, two out. Same backwards. Next exercise, you basically jump, 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 jump. So you always go cross. Same backwards. So you start like this, jump, jump, cross, jump. It's like a, yeah, like an S form. And then you just do it faster. And out. So for the next variation, I go two forward, one back. Two forward, one back. Two forward, one back. Or you go three forward, one back. And you can also mix it up. Um, do one touch, do two touches. So with two touch, two forward, one back. Two forward, one back. Switch it up. Three forward, one back. Four forward, two back. So it's totally up to you. You can be super, yeah creative with it. Just try to keep your legs going and feet moving. And if you want, you can do the same thing with jumps. You can always do the same exercises backwards as well and be totally creative. So let me see what you got. Just try it out. All you need is chalk and a street and yourself. And you have a great warm up exercise or a coordination exercise, speed work, footwork. I want to get the ball moving a little bit. Um, yeah, need to get some touches in. And I don't have cones. I'm at home, I didn't know I might need cones. So, same thing again. All you need is a street, some chalk, and you can draw your own cones. I tried to get a straight line. So these are basically my cones. And now you can 
go through the lines with the ball. Um, so first I start with just three touches, right leg, left leg, both legs, you just go through them. Um, in the beginning, try to be a little bit slower, get used to it, and then you speed up a little bit, and then I have different variation that you can do with the ball. Now I only do right leg and then only left leg. Next, I'm gonna draw a different variation of cones with a little bit bigger distance, because there was just really close footwork. But that's the good thing about um, drawing. You can always change it and you can um, do different pattern. So this is my next pattern. As you can see, they go from left to right up to there. So now you just go with the ball around them and you have, to, you have a little bit further distance. You can do right leg only left leg only, both legs, um, only the outside of your foot, only the inside of your foot. There's completely different variations. This time, um, distance is a little bit longer. So I think that's all the variations I got for you right now. Um, both legs, only right foot, only left foot, only inside, only outside. But be creative, let me know if you have some other ideas. Whew, I'm out of breath, it's killing me. For my next exercises, all I need is a ball and a wall. And that's pretty much it. Um, and since you probably don't even always have a training partner, that's perfect because you can do different touches against the wall. Um, so basically, kick it to the wall, two touch, kick it to the wall, two touch, stuff like this, different variations again, and that's what I'm gonna try now. Go up to 10, go up to 20, go up to 30, whatever, perfect way. Um, what you can also do with the wall, with my new 
best buddy right there. Um, just passing, regular passing. Pass it against the wall, one touch, two touch, work on your touch. Um, also in my case, the ground is not really flat, so it's gonna bounce a little bit, but which is fine, because so you can improve your technique. So first, two touch passing. Um, stop it with one foot, pass it with the other. Next, one touch, only use your right, only use your left, or switch legs. Also very important, before you do the leg, uh, the wall drills, ask your parents if you're allowed to do it um, or whoever owns the house. Don't just do it, don't get in trouble because of it, but it's a perfect way to replace your training partner. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked my little workout with the ball and with the ladder and just keep being awesome. Um, we'll get through this, stay healthy. Um, yeah, take care of yourself and your family and I love you all and I see you next time.